Hello, good morning, gentlemen. Morning. How are we doing today? Very good, how are you? Very, very good, thank you. Good. Uh, congratulations on this series. So fascinating, especially for anybody who is remotely, remotely interested in UFOs and what's out there. And, I, you know, it, it's such a, an amazing story, this Project Blue Book, that based on obviously top secret investigations into Uf UFOs by the U.S. Air Force, I want to know from both of you, what immediately intrigued you that you wanted to come on board and do the series? Um, well, okay, so it's interesting that you said top secret investigations, okay, because the thing about it is that it was supposed to have a kind of a public nature to it, and, you know, this was about explaining things to the, to the public and having their fears allayed, but in fact there was something happening within that where there was uh, certain cases that were being kind of filed away and you know the ones which were the more intriguing ones especially to Alan Hynek the guy I'm playing who was you know the real astrophysicist brought in as you know um, science advisor to Project Blue Book uh, you know the stories which intrigued him the most were the ones that he couldn't um, actually uh, you know, find an answer to, you know, and if, I think he always knew that he would or assumed that he would if he was let, you know, pursue them, but there wasn't time for that. It was, it was more about getting answers now, and I, I find that uh, fascinating. I find playing a real person working in this field fascinating, um, and also that our drama was going to use, you know, real cases and real investigations and real reports as basis for each, you know, script or for each episode. Uh, and kind of kind of crossing genres from um, science fiction or you know UFO drama into you know actual science and history and reality. Uh, I don't think it had been really. I don't feel like I'd seen it before. It's a real mesh of things, yeah. And I don't think there's really anything like it on TV right now. And I, I think also just the the scripts themselves are great. The character. I mean, for me, I personally I, I like to do a complete. 180 from what I did last, you know, it, and it's something I hadn't quite done yet, and I, I really had wanted to do um, a historic or period piece because um, I, I used to love doing that in the theater. You know, I started off in the theater in London, and I kind of missed doing that. And um, this came along just at the the right time, and I think it was a real alignment of of pieces, and um, I think we did a good job. And, uh, yeah, well, listen, I'm telling you. Well, I, I'm I'm talking to you from Canada. I know that the show was shot in Vancouver. Is that correct? Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, Vancouver and <laughs> like the surrounding areas. Yeah. Yeah, and how did you enjoy working there? Come on, you got to oh, give Canada it. some props. Yeah, I loved it, <laughs> and the crew there, and all the people we worked with were mm. great. And we didn't have that much time off. We had hardly any time off. So you know. But the time off I did have, I got out to Vancouver Island, to Tofino, and to other places out there, and that was amazing. We got to Funky Winker Beans one night as well. It was a crusty uh, little bar there. Awesome. It's a nice oh, yeah. spot. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's not, you know, listen, it's not all work. There has to be some play coming Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That um, no, was great. It was great. <laughs> now, I have to ask you because, you, because it's based on, so there's so much material, so much information, how much research was needed, or did you just try to kind of go off script and not dig? too deep to get into your characters. I think regardless of how much was needed, it's kind of irresistible mm. research, especially on this subject, you True know, that. to have an excuse to sit up and like watch, you know, uh, get into YouTube or whatever else for like, you know, night after night after night watching um, videos of, you know, be, be it anything from, you know, real uh, Alan Hynek, you know, on a TV show or Edward Ruppelt, you know, who's Michael's character is based on two, you know, videos of UFOs over Mexico City. You know, it's all fascinating. So um, we probably did as much, and if not more, than is required. We're still doing it. Definitely more, <laughs> more than is than I've ever done working on a project. I'm, st I'm still, still doing it. I mean, I'm still texting David and Sean and Aiden. We text each other different things that we find, and um, it's just it's so such a rich, rich trough of material you know I mean yeah. it's, it's terrifying as yeah. well mind you there's some nights I'll, I'll watch or read certain things and I'm like tonight's the night <laughs> it's going down <laughs> you know like bugging out yeah I can't sleep yeah yeah and there's some I, I scary get it. stuff out there and scary um, um whatever the word is you know what I mean well no, absolutely and I, you know, I, I mean, you know we're actually working yeah, on yeah. something like this and do you got have are you believers now or were you believers or did it change your mind about this kind of stuff uh, no, I haven't had my mind changed uh, radically uh, as to, you know, from what it was when I was a kid, but, you know, I've always, I've never believed we were, we were alone in the universe anyway. 
I think it's opened my mind up to just the amount of theories that are out there that I'd never considered, which, which for me is the, the most harrowing thing is, is some, of those, some of those theories and also the sheer amount of, of ETs that have, uh, are said to have visited Earth and the descriptions and the very specific things yeah. that are shared is, is, I had no idea about that. So the, yeah, the, that's been interesting. Yeah, the masses of theories are great. The mm. passion with which people, um, the passions that people have on this on subject on these matters is mm -hmm. quite uh, something to behold. Um, when you get into stories or you know researching all the stories of people who say they've been abducted, mm -hmm. you know those have always been fascinating to me because you know whether if they were abducted, okay, that's fascinating and scary, or whether they're making it up and they're sticking to the story for years and years and years, that's kind of that's kind of fascinating and um, intense and scary too. I mean the belief um, thing. Is, yeah, truly. Oh, go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah, it truly is. It is, it is amazing. It, it will spark conversations, and I like that about this series because your f families can watch it and talk about it, and I think that's great. Absolutely, I think it definitely appeals to a very grand, a wide, wide audience. You know, from from younger generations to, to the older. I think it's got a. You know, a nice, nice audience. And I think people are a little less afraid to talk about this stuff now than they used to be, particularly I those agree. in you know, in the uh, you know government circles or air force circles or air traffic control circles. You know, mm. this stuff comes up on like there was a really widely reported uh, UFO sighting off the Irish coast. You know, about a month ago, which was all over the news. And you know, we had all the recordings of commercial pilots. There was a British Airways pilot and a Virgin Atlantic pilot and a you know private pilot, all describing the same thing. And mm. the recording between them and the air traffic control was all there, and you could listen to it. Fascinating. Also, there was that U the U.S. Air Force uh, film from down in San Diego mm. from a few years ago. Absolutely. And you know, we were showing that down and or talking about it down at Comic Con in San Diego, and then the guy stands up in the audience and he was like, "Yeah, well, I was on the plane. was from the Air Force. He was on the plane behind, behind us, and he him. just talked about it as some, you know, it was fascinating to just his have the guy in the room sleeve, talking going. about seeing it and um, reporting it. And I think people are a little m more uh, open-minded about this stuff now than they, even than they used to be, and. Um, I just hope they... Very cool. Yeah. It's very, very cool stuff. Aiden, for you, playing a good guy for a yeah, change. Yeah, brilliant, yeah. Breath of fresh air? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And something I was kind of actively, uh, you know, pursuing. Not that I haven't played good guys before, but I haven't done it no. often. <laughs> yeah, but G Game of Thrones was a little intense, yeah. I have to say. Yeah, although I was trying to, I was trying to show the good side of that, that guy, or at least a bit of charm yeah. and, you know, a bit of, you know, reason behind the... Um, ruthlessness, um, but you know he was a such an isolated yeah. loner. It's nice to play a you know warm type of family man, even if he is a bit kind of work obsessive at, uh, sometimes and a little bit distant. You know, someone who's on the side of good and truth and you know positivity. Very cool. Yeah, listen, it, it's amazing. I think the show is going to do very, very well, and I know uh, Canadians are really looking forward to it. And before I wrap up, Aiden, I have to ask you on a personal note. Uh, my son is now studying at uh, University College Dublin in oh, yeah. Ireland. We were able to go to Ireland for the first time in August. I can't wait to go back. And I have to ask you, what is the place, or where is the place that I absolutely have to go and see when I go back to Ireland? I would say uh, the Dingle Peninsula in Kerry, if I've you haven't been there. been there before. I used to live down there, he's been there. You know, you just get out on the road west of Dingle and just, you know, do a 20 mile drive or walk or cycle. And, you know, if the weather's with you, or even if it's not with you, it's probably the most magical place I've ever been. Isn't there a bar called Dingleberries there? There's, n there's no bar called Dingleberries. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually used well, to work in a record I'll, store I'll called Dingleberries. I'll look for a bar, don't worry. Yeah, so go there. <laughs> I'm sure my son knows all the bars, so that, that, yeah. that is probably taken care of. But anyways, congratulations to the two of you. Thank you for this series. We really look forward to it here, and uh, best, best of luck to all you right. both. Thank great, you very much. Great having the Thank opportunity you. to great speak with you. Great talking to you, too. Thank you. You, too. Have a great day, you, you guys. Bye-bye.